Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys a little trick about an alternate POI system. Now, as you all know, the POI system right now is kind of broken. Um, you can only get four in one level at a time, and even then it's kind of risky, so you got to be careful how you use it. <laughs> but there's another way to use uh, uh, the POI system, or make a new POI system, actually. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't know, the way the POI system works, let me see if I can argue something. Give you an example here, real quick. Spawn that. Oh, wait, you know what? It's probably not going to work with that. Hang on. Let's just do a. Uh can I just do a normal weapon? Let me see. Yeah, I can do it with a normal weapon. <clears throat> now, for those of you who don't know how the POI system works, basically it's real simple. You can set up any object in the game that you can put into your level and you can set that up for a point of interest. <clears throat> At least most objects. So you can put a little icon above something and then it can, it can show you where it is. It goes for most objects in the game. It goes for anything that you can interact with, basically. Now, for those of you who, of course, um, who do remember my, my video from last week, uh, it turns out there's a glitch where you can only get four of these at a level at one time. If you try to push it to five which is the end limit in the first place, the game will crash as soon as you put that fifth one in there. So, that's a problem. <clears throat> but there's another way to do this. Now, this is not going to be as good as the other POI system because the POI system, you can see through walls where anything is. And it helps with navigation quite a bit. <clears throat> so as long as you're using one or two of those, it's okay. If you want to have a lot of items going on at one time, you can do it in the same room. Uh, and you'll still see where they're at, and you can mark them. Here's how you can do that. Let's just take an example here real quick. Um, what we'll do... guys in here. Okay. No when any of these guys dies. Activator. And they will basically spawn this thing in. Let's do them all differently, actually, just to be on the safe side. <clears throat> uh, let's make them... Um, let's make them all chain guns. Oh my god, seven? Okay. So we need seven chain guns. Seven. Okay. Okay, we'll spawn that in. Activator. Activator. And 
those of you who can't tell, this is similar to the loot system. Which this system works best with. Like I said, it's not as good as the POI system, but it's it'll help. Set this up for demon also so it'll spawn where they're at. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Spawn hazard. Spawn on the same location. And then we pick it up, it'll hop it. Okay. Set the colors of these two. We'll leave this one. We'll turn the damage off, by the way. Make sure you turn the damage off. We're going to use small fires for this. Again, make sure you set this to demon, and make sure you set this to activator, because if you set it to killer, it's going to spawn on you, and then it's going to not work at all. You're going to wonder why is that working? Get these different colors. So we'll make this one. I'll make that yellow. Green. flat out red. Okay. So now when we kill these enemies, these items will spawn with icons above their uh, above their heads. Sort of. <laughs> Let's play. Okay, now watch what happens when I kill these guys. There's one, there's two. Go 
further away. Three, four, five, six, seven. You can see the flames show where your items are at. Just pick one up, it goes away. I can't pick the other ones up because it's the same gun. <laughs> Right here, I'll make a I'll make it seven different guns. Hang on. Let's make it a seven. Let's make this one BFG. Super shotgun. Cross cannon. Assault rifle. That's my rifle. Oh, watch him. Alright. Now I kill these guys again, and I'll bring the weapons up, and I'll mark them. I know where they're at, and all you gotta do is go over and pick them up and make the uh, icons go away. Spread these guys out so they can see them more easily. One more. There you go. Pick these up and watch the items go away. Oh, whoops, I don't have the full. I don't have a big backpack, but you see what I mean. That's how you make that work. The only reason why uh, it was dropping him because I, I didn't get myself a bigger backpack. But yeah, that's how you make a good a new POI system. Now how many of these can you put in your level? Well, no definite number, but you can put a lot more than the POI system can. The only downside is, again, you can only do this for stationary items. Okay, so it's got to be something that can stay in one spot. Because if you try to do it for an enemy, that fire is going to stay in one place, and that's going to be it. And the enemy's going to be moving around all, all that much. So, um, but for like droppable items, it does help. Because that way it lets you know, hey, there's an item right there. As long as you're in the same room as that item. If you're not in the same room, you're not going to see it. And there you go. Hope you all found this helpful. And you all take care.